I have a postcard of the Rolling Stones. Okay. And actually, it is signed by all five of the original members. That's really, really cool. Daddy was a Rolling Stone, huh? No, it was Papa was a Rolling Stone, and it was a completely different artist. Why are you here to ruin the party? When I got the picture, I was excited because I was a fan of the Rolling Stones. I really have no idea what it's worth. I've seen things that they start at 300, uh, up to 3,000. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that maybe it's the 3,000. Where in the world did you get this? It was about 30 years ago, and I traded it for an antique dresser. A friend liked the dresser, and I liked the Rolling Stones, so we traded. OK, cool. Do you know how she got it signed or anything like I that? I don't. I think she got him signed at a concert, but I'm not 100%. OK, because I can tell you right now, it's a rare thing to have yeah. something signed by the original early Rolling Stones. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. So the original members were Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Bill Wyman, Charlie Watts, and Brian Jones. But Brian Jones drowned when he was just 27. Do you have an idea what you wanted? Oh, I don't know. 50 bucks, 100 bucks? No, no. <laughs> I'm talking thousands here. Maybe 3,000. There, there's some issues going on with this, though. Is you there saw that. Like? Like there's massive tape. There's tape over signatures. When I got it framed, I wanted the signatures preserved. And when I took it to the professional, this is what he did. And I didn't realize it till I took it apart about two weeks ago. Yeah, they're still there, but, but I, it really affects the value. Because when people want these, they want them, you know, I mean, the cleaner, the better, OK? But there's still the five signatures on there. All right. Do you mind if I get someone to look at it? Yeah, I'd love that. All right. I have a friend who's in town right now who really knows what he's doing when it comes to stuff like this. OK. I am going to give him a call. I'll be back in a few minutes. OK. Rick, tell me about your concerns. Well, first off, are they real? And if they are real, how bad is that tape all over? Of course. The tape does affect the value, though, because you're altering the piece. OK. I mean, if the signatures are real, and if they check out OK, it's, there's not too many surviving pieces from that period of the Rolling Stones. It's a pretty rare piece. OK, so do your magic. All right, Rick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pro scope on this. It lets me kind of go in here and figure out if these signatures are live, first and foremost. And I'm starting to take a look at here. And I see some, some ink formations. And right in this area, I see some overlapping, which indicates to me, yes, it was actually penned by someone. But who was it penned by? We have to get to that next. OK. Next thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go into my database. The first thing I want to do is I want to pull up known examples of these guys, how they signed back in the day. So 1962 to 1969, we have to start looking at their signature styles from that period. You know, some of the things I'm starting to observe already, when I look at the piece here, I'm starting to see some stuttering, some pausing, compared to what I know is genuine and real. I'm starting to see some big time differences especially with Brian Jones, it looks like someone went into the Brian signature and stopped after his A, which isn't a good sign. If I had to take a look at Keith Richards, the Keith Richards that's featured on this piece here is so different in letter, shape, formation. The sizing is different. I'm noticing someone's trying to mimic kind of what Keith did. But ultimately, in the end, I think that's what you have on this entire piece here is where someone is trying to kind of mimic the Rolling Stones. OK. All right. Oh. oh, well. Sorry. Thanks, man. Sure. Good to see you. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed. I wasn't sure in all these years. Thanks okay. for coming in. OK, thanks a lot. Take care. Well, it's a little misleading when somebody signs somebody else's signature. But it's still a cool picture, and it still it has been with me for 30 years, so I'll keep it. Wow. This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95, and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.